Hey guys, Buffing Game Bad today, bringing another video for Battlefield 2042 information. And today we're going to be covering data mined information from Temporal over on Twitter. He is a Battlefield leaker or data miner who has brought us some information out of the alpha that was the closed alpha for Battlefield 2042. Mainly today we're going to be covering a variety of things, that being the ammo conversions and magazines, different attachments that he's mined for different weapons, and how they can be applicable to some of the battle pickups. He's also data mined all of the weapons that were in the game files as of the closed alpha. So we're gonna run through those and basically run through different conversion types that I'm expecting to probably be present in the game, give you guys some examples. Now, if you're interested in learning more about the weapons in Battlefield 2042 and the real life information and conversions for those weapons, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video and hit that bell notification so you guys stay notified when I do a new video, especially when the beta drops and the full game will be covering all these weapons very in depth and going into all the conversions realized real life information for the weapons themselves and how they perform in the game so go ahead and do that if you're interested in the content moving into the video today we're kind of start off with the different conversions or the ammo conversions. so recently temporal made a twitter post about some of the ammo conversions and primary secondary weapons that can be applied in battlefield 2042 so if we look at this picture that he posted. Basically, he's saying ammos and magazines. So we have a general overview or an outline of what we can expect. That being different ammo or magazine types being light, medium, and heavy. And those can include extended magazines and drum mag support for different weapons. So light, medium, heavy. Now, I'm not sure if that's supposed to mean different ammo types, like lighter ammo, medium ammo, heavy ammo for calibers, meaning like 5.56, 6.5, 6.8, or maybe even 7.62 different variations, or if it's just meaning the weight of the magazine or the ammo you're carrying on your specialist. But we can kind of start and assume both here for the most part. So let's start off with the different light, medium, heavies, extended, and drum mag support. We'll get into what weapons that could apply for. Now, different ammo types themselves, what kind of ammo would be subsonic ammunition? So I'm assuming something like that would be probably 300 blackout conversions for some of the weapons. Also, incendiary, explosive, armor piercing, in ranged ammo for longer ranges that could possibly be 7.62 by 51 by 39 different things like that maybe 14.5 conversions for some of the sniper rifles or amrs that we have in the game amr meaning anti-material rifle and then for shotguns we have a variety of different ammo types or attachments here that we can see that were data mined by temporal that being buckshot short range buckshot middle range buckshot long range buckshot slug rounds and flagellate rounds. So that's the ammo types and conversions that were data mined by Temporal. Now, if we look at different attachments on one of the main weapons that we've seen in the game, that being the M5A3 or in real life, the Six Hour it's MCX Spear, which is the entry by Six Hour into the next generation squad weapon program. This weapon firing 6.8 by 51 millimeters. So the different ammo conversions or, or overall attachments for this weapon are gonna be Three different barrels, that being a short, medium, long range barrels. Muzzle brakes are three different muzzle brakes and compensators, three different suppressors, four different kinds of grips, four ammos and, or magazine conversions, that being potentially a 20 round, a 30 round, or maybe even a 50 round, 60 round drum, and then 13 scopes. Now those ammo conversions, again, could, con could include different calibers based on the weapon as well. 13 different scopes, like I said, for optics, plus bipod, laser sights, weapon light, grenade launcher, HE, incendiary, and smoke uh, attachments or ammos for the grenade launcher for the underbarrel of the weapon. Now we also have battle pickups that were data mined by Temporal as well. These will be making a return into Battlefield 2042 according to the data mine leaked by Temporal. Now one of the weapons that stands out in particular is the Barrett XM109. So this being a anti-material rifle firing that 25 uh, millimeter, 25 by 20 by 39 I want to say it is off the top of my head but again it's a 25 millimeter explosive uh, round designed to, to explode and take out vehicles essentially so anti-material meaning anti-material go through walls bl blow up vehicles things like that so that's one that's very interesting if we look at the different ammo types being things like incendiary and explosive we did see the Barrett XM109 make an appearance in Call of Duty's Modern Warfare with those exact attachment conversions that could fire a base of the 50 BMG or the 25 millimeters of the explosive or the incendiary round. So it seems like we'll be seeing something similar to that make an appearance in the game. And now battle pickups are nothing new. We saw that with the M82A2 and different battle pickups in Battlefield 4, along with Battlefield 1 
as well as Battlefield 5 had that feature for battle, battle pickups as well. So knowing all of that information, let's jump and take a look at the different weapons that were data mined for the Battlefield 2042 closed alpha, and then we'll go ahead and theorize as to what kind of different ammo conversions we can see for some of these weapons. So I'll throw this chart up on screen. This is provided by Tempora. I'm going to link his Twitter down below as well. And we're not going to focus heavily on all of these weapons here in this video. If you want to look at that, like I said, I'll be covering a lot of that later on, but we're going to just run through these and then run through different examples of conversions. So first off for F SMGs, we have the PP-19 Bison, which was data mine. Now, this is an interesting one because it's a very old submachine gun. Now, again, there's been newer iterations being the PP-19 uh, Vitez and other different 9mm SMGs put in service by Russia since. So it's odd that this is in the game. However, this could be something left over from the portal um, maybe it was data mined from the portal scripts because we do know this weapon did make some appearances in previous battlefields. So just keep that in the back of your head. This may not be part of the base game. We'll have to wait and see. MP9, again, Bruger and Thomas MP9, find that 9x19 Parabellum. This has made an appearance before. We have the Chris Vector, the LCW, LWRC SMG 45, which is, think of an Americanized version of the HK UMP 45. So it still fires the same ammo, just a different upgraded version of the UMP-45, and again, it's developed by an American company, the LWRC. For assault rifles, we have the AK-12, as in-game called the AK-24. We have the SCAR-H, or the Mark 17. We have the MCX Spear, which we covered heavily. We have DMRs being the Caltech CMR-30, which we just saw a recent gameplay of this in the latest uh, specialist trailers. We saw a brief clip of this during one of those specialist reveals. We also have the SVCH, the DDM4 Hunter is what it appears to be probably firing something along the lines of a 6.5 or a 6.8 millimeter conversion, or maybe even a 7.62 by 51. LMGs, so this is a nice one to see. The Machine Gun Armory or the MGA Saw K. So we'll get into that one a little bit more here in a little bit. PKP Pechenag was data mined. However, everything we've seen for this weapon in game is the Bullpup variant. So it stands to believe me to believe that the bullpup variant will be the only version of the PKP in game, unless there's some sort of conversion to convert the, the base patch and egg into a bullpup version, which is what we've seen in the reveal trailer, as well as some of the art for Boris lately holding the bullpup variant of the PKP patch and egg. So we'll have to see what that ends up looking like, if there's going to be different conversions to convert that from a base patch and egg to a bullpup or not. We also have the Knights Armament Company LWAMG. Then shotguns, we have the Cry 612, the Russian Saga 12, Remington 870, which we've known about a lot of these. Bolt action sniper rifles being and AMRs being the TTS XC. This is a German bullpup sniper rifle. We also have the NTW. This is South Africa's NTW 20. This is an AMR or an anti material rifle firing 20 millimeter. We also have the DSR 1, which is a bullpup 50 caliber sniper rifle, and the TRG. 110, which is a multi-purpose sniper rifle firing multitude of different calibers. So we'll have to see what the base caliber is for that. We also have lever reactions being the Marlin 4570, as well as the crossbow making an appearance in the game. Now, if we keep all the, these weapons in mind, we're going to use a few different examples here and then see how we can apply the different ammo types to these weapons. So first and foremost, we'll cover the AK-12. The AK-12 in game is the AK-24. It stands to reason, given different types of ammo conversions for this that we've seen. In the trailer, we've seen the AK-12 in the trailers with the 545 by 39 millimeter drum magazine used for the RPK-16, 95 round drum magazine. So it stands to reason that that'll obviously be an attachment here, and that goes to the ammo information that was released by Temporal. So we'll have that. Now it also makes sense if we look at the different ammo types that we could have different powerful types of ammunition would be applied to these weapons. So if we look at things like um, armor piercing or ranged weapon or ranged ammo, we could see the AK-12 or the AK-24 have a conversion from the 545 by 39 millimeter up to the 762 by 39 millimeter. That making it a conversion from an AK-12 to an AK-15, firing that larger Russian caliber. We also have for the Scar H or the Mark 17. It would make sense that this is going to be a base of 762 by 51 millimeter NATO. Now. Light, medium, heavy ammo conversions could come at base with a 20 round magazine, which is standard. And then medium could be a 30 round and a heavy would be probably a 40 or a 50 round drum magazine of the 762 by 51 millimeter ammo. Now for different types of ammo types, we could see something for a conversion for a 6.8 or even a 6.5 millimeter ammo conversion. 
that would just make the weapon a little bit lighter and uh, handle a little bit better for different ranges engagements, obviously. It wouldn't make sense to have a 556 by 45 millimeter conversion for this weapon because it's not, the Scarlight was kind of uh, decommissioned in real life. However, that could still be something in the game. So for the Scar Rage, we'll probably see a 20 round magazine, a 30 round magazine, and something along the lines of a 50 or a 60 round drum magazine of the 762 by 51 and then conversions to a 6.8 or a 6.5 millimeter or potentially even a 556 by 45 to make this into the Scar Light. The MCX Spear, this is an interesting one because we went through all the attachments and if there's four different ammo types or different sized magazines, the Spear in real life fires at 6.8 by 51 millimeter round. Now, there could be conversions for this to turn this into the MCX Six Hours MCX Virtus. If there's a conversion for the 556 by 45 millimeter, we could have a Virtus conversion. There could be integrally suppressed barrels. We don't really know yet. Integrally suppressed barrels, different ammo types being subsonic. We could have a 300 blackout ammo conversion for this weapon to turn it to, into something similar to an LVAW. We'll have to just wait and see. But again, those are some of the possibilities with the MCX Spear here. And then if we look at the DMRs, Everything's pretty standard there. I'm not gonna go too much into these. We'll probably see some along the lines of everything firing in 7.62 by 51, and maybe some conversions to 6.8 by 51. We'll have to wait and see what those look like. Now, getting into the light machine guns, the MGA Saw K. This is a really interesting one. I think this serves probably as the best example for these different ammo types and conversions. The MGA Saw K is the machine gun armory's take on the saw, and the K being the German for Kurs or short. So this is a shortened variation of the M249, which has been a standard workhorse in the US military for a very long time. Now the MGA's variant of this weighs is eight inches shorter and weighs up to seven pounds less than the standard M249 squad automatic weapon that's been being used over the years. So it's think of the same exact length as a UMP45. It has a multitude of different ammo conversion. And this thing, the MGA Saw K, when it's fully kitted out with a 100 round belt, all of the optics, bipod grip, lasers, lights, suppressors, everything like that, it still weighs less than the base M249 saw used by the US military, bare bones, no attachments. So this thing is gonna be a really interesting addition to this game. I'm really excited to get my hands on it, but the, the good news about this is the different types of ammo conversions that this thing could potentially take. In real life, at base, for the MGA Saw K fires the standard NATO 556 by 45 millimeter rounds. It also can be converted to 300 blackout, which would cover the subsonic rounds that we see here. We also have conversions in real life for the 6.8 SPC. This is a Remington Armory 6.8 caliber. It's 6.8 by 43, I believe it is. So it's a little bit different size than what's being used in the NGSW program, which is 6.8 by 51, which is what the spear fires. But the 6.8 by 43 SPC special purpose cartridge could be a conversion for this. And then also, for ranged or heavy rounds could be the 762 by 51 millimeter, which is that NATO 762 variant cartridge, which again would be a ranged powerhouse cartridge, which could be converted to this in real life too. So really this thing stands to have four different ammo types, at least if it's staying true to real life. And if we look at the in-game data mines by Temporal, light, medium, heavy, it could be that this thing also takes a Stenag mag to the right-hand side. Could be that it takes a 100, 150, 200 round belt. And then for different ammo types, subsonic could be 300 blackout. Incendiary and explosive, not really applicable to these. Armor piercing could be a 762 by 51 uh, M44 or something like that. Different types of rounds, uh, round types. So the, or not M44, it would be uh, M61 probably. And then ranged, again, could just be whether it's 6.8 by 53 SP, or 6.8 by 43 SPC, special purpose cartridge. So there's a bunch of different possibilities there for that weapon. And then if we look at the other uh, light machine gun here being the Knights Armament Company LWAMG. So we saw this again in the reveal trailer and we've seen some shots of it in some of the other trailers as well. This is the variation of Knights Armament Company's stoner, modern day stoner iteration firing 7.62 by 51 millimeter. So again, it would make sense this thing could be converted to a 5.56 by 45 millimeter for the Knights Armament Company LAMG, the lightweight or the light assault machine gun. And the AMG again, or the LW AMG would be the 762 by 51 variant. So those would be different conversions there. Shotguns are all pretty standard. We saw the different types of rounds. It could be anywhere from close quarters, long range, slug, flexulate types of ammunition. And then the bolt action rifles again. I think this is pretty interesting. 
mainly with the NTW-20. So this is a AMR rifle in real life or an anti-material rifle, which fires at 20 millimeter round. Now in real life, it has a conversion to a 14.5, different types of 14.5 rounds, which makes it a long range, very deadly accurate, precise type of sniper rifle. So it would stand to reason that this would have conversions for that. It would also have conversions to have the incendiary and explosive rounds. The range would probably be the 14.5 and at base it would be the 20 millimeter anti-material rifle. Same with the XM109. If that is a battle pickup, potentially it won't be a battle pickup and maybe it's just gonna be something introduced to the classes, but potentially that'll have different conversions like we said for the 25 millimeter explosive or incendiary round. So that's really everything I really wanted to cover today. Other weapons, probably no conversions as far as ammo types, but we will have those different types of ammo magazine styles being light, medium, heavy, so extended magazines, drum magazines. The best example of that would be the Scar H being a base of 20 for the light, medium would be 30, and then heavy would be a 50 round of the 7.62 by 51 millimeter drum mag, and then different ammo conversions for that, like I said, the 6.8, 6.5, or maybe even 5.56 5 by 45, and then the MGA saw would be the best example that we could find here with four different types of ammo conversions possibly for this weapon. So let me know down below what you guys think of this weapon. What are the weapons we're covering here by Temporal? Do you think we'll see all these weapons in the game again? This is just some of the weapons that were data mined in the closed alpha. There's definitely going to be more and we've covered a lot of these here on the channel. Go ahead and check out the trailer reveal weapons that I was able to discover when the game first came out. A lot of them ended up being accurate, especially with the PKP Patch and Egg Bullpup variant. Should be a lot of fun to see too. I'm looking forward to the beta. We'll be covering a lot more weapons here. Let me know down below what you guys think of this list, what you think of the different ammo conversions, what type of ammo conversions do you want to see in the game? What type of weapons do you want to see that we haven't seen yet, that haven't been revealed at least? Let me know your thoughts down below. Till next time, this is Buffner Gaming with potential weapon conversions for Battlefield 2042. Till next time, Buffner Gaming, out.